Hey guys, we're back here with Harp's Custom Creations. Just showing a few more of the pins that we have in the store. Uh, remember to check us out on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and Etsy. Everything shown in the video is sold on Etsy. I will give you the price of the item. I will also give you, if it's a pin, what number it is in the shop. So if you're looking for that certain one, it's easier to find. Um, definitely go check us out. Like, share, comment on this video so we can get these videos out there. Um, like I've said in the past, if you have any ideas of videos that you want to see, a get to know me, um, a tour of the shop, turning down pins, pouring resin, any of that, just let me know and I'll definitely get it out there. Um, but I guess we'll just get into the video today. At first, I'm going to be showing pins that are in the shop. And like I said, I will give you the number that it's listed under in the shop. All the pins are $20. If you spend over $35 and you're in the US, then you get free shipping. The first pin that we have is number 53. This is a staple wood with the orange and black resin. Every pin does come with your single placer and your multi-placer. If you don't like the end that the single placer is in, you can definitely change it out. That's completely up to you. They are interchangeable. This one is number 53. And that is considered a hybrid pin because it has the wood and the resin together. Our next pin is just a solid wood that has been stained. You'll find this one in the shop under number 57. And it's just a solid wood. If you're looking for a lighter diamond painting pen, then you would want to go with the solid wood. Um, whenever you go to the hybrid diamond painting pens, it gives a little bit of weight because of the resin. So if you're looking for something where you can diamond paint a long time and you have hand problems and you need a lighter pen, I would definitely go with a just wood pen. And like I said, that's number 57. Our next one is number 55. This one's still going to be a lighter pin, even though it's not completely solid wood. But it doesn't have the full half wood, half resin, so you don't have as much weight on it. It's just got spots of resin. So like with this one, if you want the color resin, this would still be a lighter pen for you. And that's number 55. Our next one up is number 62. This one is made with zebra wood, and it has the resin, so it's considered a hybrid. And this one is still a lighter pan. It's not got too much weight to it. You should see resin on both sides. And then you got the tip that is resin here. And that is number 62. The next one up is number 54. It's a Bacotti wood with the resin. 
This one has a blue resin. And it's just in spots. And you see that on both sides. And that one was number 54. And then we have number 92, which is a brown heartwood and resin. And this is a yellow colored resin that has a lot of glitter in it. And then the other side is a wood. And the wood was cut zigzag and then the resin poured. So you get that look. Let's see. Like that. And that was number 92. And then we have number 44, which is American Elm Wood with a green gold resin. This is number 44. Let me stick a multi placer in here. And it's green gold and your American M that has been stained. And that was number forty four. Our next one is number 97, and it's American M with the wood bean stain, and then the resin is a clear green and a white. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but you can see through that and see the wood grain. So you've got your heartwood and then your resin and that's number 97 next we have number 42 which is a zebra wood and resin this resin is a yellow brown with some shiny copper in it. And it's got your zigzag wood and then resin. And that was number 42 in the shop. We then have number 35, which is a solid wood. This is a cherry wood. And it's just got lines in it. This is going to be one of your lighter pins. And that one was number 35. And then this one is number nine in the shop. It's another just wood pin.
with a few intentions. It's very smooth and shiny. The wood is not rough like you would think. It's very smooth. Like I stated, all the pans are in the shop under $20. Um, the only time that pans are more than that is if they're bundled with something. Right now, I have four different bundles in my shop. Bundle number one, you get a diamond painting pan. You get what is in the picture. So you're going to get what you see. You're going to get that diamond painting pan, a trash drill bucket that has a magnet on the bottom of it, which will look like this, and it'll have the magnet on the bottom. Um, you'll get two cover monitors, and that bundle will cost you $25. Bundle number two, you get the trash drill bucket and four cover monitors, and that's $8. Uh, bundle number three, you get the bucket, three cover minders, and two washi tapes for $9. Bundle number four, you get a diamond painting pen, two washi tapes, the bucket, and a cover minder for $26. We do sell just the buckets in the shop with a magnet for $2. We have different uh types of washi tape some are two dollars some are a dollar fifty some are 275 and some are 250. we have cover minders in the shop um you can buy them as a set of three for three dollars or we have just individual cover minders for a dollar fifty that's what we have in the shop as of now I have ran out of the large diamond painting trays, but I have more on the way. I know there was a lot of people that were wanting those, so those will be here soon, and as soon as I get them, they'll be on the shop. Um, definitely go check out our shop. Definitely check out TikTok. Uh, like, share, comment on this video. And get on Facebook, like, share the page. Let's get this video out there, guys. And like I said, if there's any other type of video that you would like to see, definitely leave it in the comments or message me. And I will make that type of video. If you would like to, for me to do like a whipping chat, I can pull out a diamond painting and do a whipping chat. That's completely fine. Um, but thanks again for watching. And I'll have another video up next week. Bye, guys.